In this video, we'll be going over the exemption worksheet for line 5 of your IRS Form 6251, Alternative Minimum Tax. The amount that you calculate in this worksheet rep represents the exemption that you may be able to claim when you're completing the tax form so that you can exclude certain amounts from AMT. So to be able to calculate this, you do need to have completed part one of form 6251, which will help you calculate the alternative minimum taxable income from which you will then calculate your alternative minimum tax in part two of the tax form. So uh, basically the first step of part two of form 6251 helps you calculate the amount that you're going to exempt from your taxable income and then from there you'll calculate your remaining AMT tax responsibility. If your line 4 at the end of part 1 is equal to certain thresholds then you don't need to bother completing this worksheet because your exemption will be equal to zero. So those thresholds include for single or head of household taxpayers, $903,350. For a married couple filing a joint return or a qualifying surviving spouse, $1,662,300. Or for a married couple filing a separate return, $831,150. If your line four representing the alternative minimum taxable income exceeds these thresholds based upon your tax filing uh, status, then you don't need to complete this worksheet. You would simply enter the amount from your line four onto line six, and then go to line seven to calculate your AMT. Let's go ahead and begin with line one. So you'll enter one of the following numbers based on your tax filing status. For single or head of household taxpayers, enter $81,300. For married couples filing a joint return or a qualifying surviving spouse, enter $126,500. For a married couple filing a separate return, enter $63,250. For our hero, John Doe, filing a tax return in 2023, we've entered the $126,500 amount based on a married couple filing a joint tax return. In line two, you'll enter your alternative minimum taxable income, or AMTI, from line four. In this case, we put in $500,000. We'll walk through the rest of this tax form and then we'll play with this number to see how that impacts the rest of the tax, uh, the, the worksheet. So right now, $500,000. In line three, you'll enter one of the following numbers based on tax filing status. For a single or head of household taxpayer, enter $578,150. For a married couple filing a joint return or a qualifying surviving spouse, enter $1,156,300. For a married couple filing a separate return, enter $578,150. Again, in this situation, we've entered the amount for a married couple filing a joint tax return, $1,156,300. In line four, you'll subtract line three from line two. If zero or less, enter zero, as we did. Let's go ahead and take a quick look to see what would happen if we added an extra million dollars of AMTI here. Because at this point, we subtracted a rather large number from a smaller number and we reach zero and the rest of the tax form or the worksheet is fairly predictable. 
let's go ahead and make this line two 1.5 million dollars now let's go ahead and see what happens well in line four this amount would enter would end up becoming three hundred and forty three thousand seven hundred dollars in this case we would then multiply that number by twenty five percent and when we do that we arrive at eighty five thousand nine hundred twenty five dollars from there, we would subtract this from the line one amount, which gives us a total of $40,575. That amount ends up being the exemption that we would then enter into line five. So we're basically calculating the exemption based on a phase out of AMT exemption between certain tax uh, figures. So at this point, our exemption was $126,500 at the very top. Based on our AMTI, we've reduced that exemption down to 40575 so we haven't completely phased out of the exemption, but we're pretty close to it. That would be the amount that you enter onto line five, and then you would go on to uh, calculate the rest of your AMT uh, liability from line six through line uh, 11 of your form 6251. So that's all we have for this video. Uh, basically, it's a straightforward line five exemption worksheet that you would then use to calculate your AMT on form 6251. If you'd like, uh, we've covered form 6251 in, uh, in depth in both a video and an article. We'll put links to those in the show notes. And if you like our articles, feel free to subscribe to our newsletter, which you can find by going to teachmepersonalfinance.com. If you type in the name of a tax form that you're looking for, the odds are pretty high that we've written an article that covers that. So feel free to go to our website to subscribe to our newsletter and to read more about different tax forms that we've covered. If you like our YouTube videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions, comments, or if there's anything else that you would like us to cover in an upcoming video, please don't hesitate to put a comment in the comment section. Thank you very much and have a great day.